Modernizing mainframe applications can be a challenging task, but Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe is here to revolutionize the way you approach this journey. Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe is a generative AI-powered agent that accelerates your mainframe modernization journey. Q Developer provides an autonomous, objective-driven approach to application modernization, allowing you to define high-level goals and have Q Developer orchestrate the necessary tools and human actions to analyze, document, decompose, plan and refactor mainframe applications. Q Developer is able to analyze code, generate documentation, decompose code, provide plan migration sequences, and refactor code. Depending on your objective, Q Developer can conduct one or multiple of these modernization tasks. Before interacting with Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe, you prepare your mainframe application code, including COBOL source code, JCLs, BMS screens, and DB2 schemers in an S3 bucket. You begin your modernization journey with Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe through the web interface. To get started, I've created a new workspace by clicking Create New Workspace. You have an option to rename this workspace as well. Let's call it the Mainframe Modernization Workspace. Now, let's ask Amazon Q to create a new job here. It gives you an option to select the kind of migration you want to perform, mainframe, VMware, and .NET. Let's select mainframe modernization as an option. The mainframe modernization job will prompt you to choose the goals you want to achieve, generate documentation, analyze dependencies, perform decomposition, generate a migration wave sequence plan, or transform your code to Java. In this case, let's select all of the above to perform a comprehensive mainframe modernization exercise. Once you confirm the job type, job name, and objectives, we can confirm and ask you to create the job. It has now confirmed all the job details. Let's click Create and start the job. Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe will understand your request and propose a plan for your migration. It has created a plan for you with all the goals you've specified. As a first step, let's connect to the AWS account where your mainframe code is located and provide the AWS account ID. Click Next, and you'll also need to specify the S3 bucket ARN where the mainframe code is located. Then, you'll create a connector for S3, and need to ensure you give Amazon Q Developer access to that S3 bucket to start the mainframe modernization job. Copy the verification link and open it in a browser to approve Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe to access the resources. Once that's done, go back and say, use the existing connector and approve and send it to Amazon Q Developer. The modernization exercise will now kick off. The next step is to specify the actual location of the code. In this demo, we have bundled up all the code into a legacy app zip folder. We approve and send it to Amazon Q. Once this is done, it will start the analysis of the job. Amazon Q Developer has completed the analysis of the code leading to the creation of detailed analysis views, including a complete list of classified files with the number of lines of code, a view by type, view by folder, and missing files based on the dependency analysis. At any point, you can also come to the dashboard to see your overall dashboard. In this case, 
The Analyze Code section will show you how many lines of code for each type of file and what percentage of each file type is covered in that analysis. Once the analysis is complete, it will automatically start the documentation generation phase. For the documentation generation phase, it requires user input to continue. You'll need to select the files for which you want documentation to be generated. There are two levels of documentation, a summary level, which gives you a high-level overview, and a detailed comprehensive documentation level. Let's select a few files here to show how the documentation is generated. Now that we have selected the files, let's click Detailed Functional Specification for this documentation and send it to Amazon Q for generating the documentation. Amazon Q has generated the documentation. Let's review the results. The generated documentation is stored in an output folder inside the same bucket that contains your code. Let's go to the bucket and download the code and document. Here is the downloaded document. We have COBOL code and JCL code, which are the files I selected for documentation. Let's start with the cover page. The cover page gives you a summary of what this application does, the files chosen for documentation, and a one-sentence summary. Let's review the COBOL documentation. It provides a high-level overview of the program, program logic, data flow, database information, interactions, integrations, error and event handling, input-output processing, and more. Now that the documentation generation step is complete, let's proceed with the code decomposition step. For code decomposition, Amazon Q Developer needs user input to create logical domains for your project. Let's create a few business domains that are logical for this project. This decomposition task is critical to break down the large mainframe monolith into smaller, manageable domain modules that can be modernized one after the other in waves. Let's start by creating these domains. Click Action, then Create Domain, and let's create an account domain. Select the files you want to include in the account domain. I'm selecting one of the files here and marking it as a seed file. Seed files are the semantic input fed to the domain. Amazon Q Developer will use these seeds to construct the domain, including all the related components for domain creation. Let's create this domain and a couple more domains. Click Decompose, and Amazon Q Developer will find and group the related application assets into these domains. Let's approve and send it to Amazon Q. The decomposition step is now complete. Let's review the results. Amazon Q Developer Transform for Mainframe has decomposed the application into the number of lines of code, how many files are associated with each domain, and you can also view a graph view of how the dependencies are mapped, and a domain view of how these four domains we created are mapping to each other. Once that's done, the next step is to plan the migration waves, that is, how to migrate or transform these domains in waves. Let's review recommendations provided by Amazon Q Developer. It has recommended a view as to do the common component first, then transaction, then there is an unassigned domain, then account and user. 
You can also view a chart view of how many lines of code and files need to be migrated in what waves. Let's accept Amazon Q Developer's recommendation. And we have an option to change this recommendation as needed. You can add preferences and change the numbers or the sequence in which we want to modernize this application. Let's accept the recommendation, approve and send it to Amazon Q. The recommendation is now accepted. The next step is refactoring. Hence, we need to select the domains we want to refactor. For this exercise, let's select all domains, then click approve and send it to Amazon Q for the code refactoring process to kick in. The code refactoring process is now complete. Let's view the results. The legacy COBOL code is now refactored to Java and its latest frameworks. We can view the successful status of transformation here. Let's review the complete results. Click on the S3 link to download the code. The downloaded code is now opened in an integrated development environment. As we see, it has decomposed the application into multiple maintainable domain modules. Let's dive into the account domain. There is a palm file, which has all the dependencies, and expanding on servers, this has all the Java files corresponding to the COBOL files you had. The common components are also present, and if we expand the web folder, we can find Angular Frameworks code of the converted application UI. This summarizes the use of Amazon Q Developer Transform for a mainframe modernization journey. Embark on your journey with Amazon Q Developer Transform for mainframe and accelerate your mainframe modernization journey with Gen AI. Thank you.